So it's 2021, and you should by now have this app downloaded on your phone right now. Instagram, big Zell for posting images, videos, all this awesome content to get all those likes, comments, follows, and shares. All because of your awesome photos, but there's one problem. You do not know how to pose. Should I post to the right, to the left? Should I show my good side, my bad side? How do I pose to get more likes, more followers, more engagement? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways and three even techniques to get the right poses for your photos to get more likes, more follows, more shares. Let's get started. How's it going? My name is Technic, and you're the best place to learn about photography, cameras, and gear. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to pose the right way with three different tips and techniques for your posing to get the right shots, the right angles, the right look for you. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started, but first, let me change out this outfit because it's not really the right outfit for posing. So real quick, let me just change out this for real quick. Let me just, it's not right for me. Ugh. All right, look pretty easier, pretty more Instagram friendly. Looks good, let's get started. So, you wanna learn three tips and three photo poses to upgrade your photos on Instagram. Getting more likes, more followers, and an instant. Let's get started. First tip, first tip number one is your outfit. For example, I changed in this outfit right here. Pretty easy, pretty smooth, nice detail, great for Instagram. Nice colors, very bold, very bright. But if you're going out to do some awesome photo shoots all day long, you wanna bring something with you. You wanna bring this, a bag. Pack a bunch of clothes in here all different types of clothes, jeans, jackets, shirts, wherever you have. Pack in this bag, get ready to get some awesome shots with your awesome outfits. Because what you don't wanna do is go out there, get all these awesome photos of this one outfit, upload them, edit them, but then go back out tomorrow and redo the same thing. What you wanna do is think smart and pack a bag, all your different outfits, shoes, colors, think about the whole week. What are you gonna post on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Where are you posting? What colors, what outfits, what are you gonna do? Bring a bag, change there, get some awesome outfits, get all the pictures you can, do a batch photo shoot, get everything you can all at once, then go home, edit them, be good to go. The first step in getting more pictures, more engagement, and more photos for the grid. Now, second step. Second step is the following location. Now, location can be anywhere, from the city, to the beach, to the desert, to the rainforest, wherever you are, wherever you're close to, go there, go to the right spot that best represents your outfit. So, if you're doing bikini season, go to the beach, get some awesome shots over there, find a nice beach that represents your photos, your concept, your idea. Same thing, if you wanna do a nice hiking, nature walk, nature trail, go to the desert, go to the mountains, go to the Amazon rainforest, get some awesome shots there. Dress appropriately, like an adventurer would, and go out there and get some awesome shots. Second step is location. Now, third tip. Let's get started. For our third tip, you wanna bring a lot of lenses. We're talking about 50 millimeter lenses, 35, 24, something that has a 1.4 aperture. I mean, super sharp photos, super blurry photos, like this you see right behind me right now. Right now, I'm shooting a 35 Sigma, my favorite lens, shooting right now. Pretty awesome. But this lens has a 1.4 aperture, which means I can have things very sharp over here and very blurry up close right here. Pretty awesome and great detail, as you can see right now. Pretty awesome. But if you don't have this lens right here, you can use this lens right here. The Canon 50 mm lens. This lens is pretty awesome. 50 millimeters, great lens for portraits, tight end shots, blurry backgrounds. It's a pretty awesome lens, plus really big aperture. We're talking about 1.4 aperture, which means the same aperture as this one right here. It means super sharp photos, plus a very blurry background like here. Plus it takes really awesome photos. Here's a few pictures I took on the screen right now from this lens. Check it out. Pretty awesome, right? This lens can do awesome photos and awesome shots from a price only at $150. Great lens, great shots, great photos. But now it's time to talk about our three poses. Let's get started. All right, we talked about the three tips to improve your photos with the posing. Now, let's talk about the poses itself. Let's get started with three poses that will improve your photos, your grid, your Instagram to get more likes, more followers, more engagement. Let's get started with pose number one. All right, for pose number one, we're talking about the lean. The most simple, most easy, most chillest way to get an awesome shot. All you gotta do is simply just lean over to the side. Lean on the post, fence, wall, staircase, wherever you have nearby. Lean on it and get an awesome look. Look at the camera, smile, be happy, and just pose. Here's a few shots I took on the screen right now using the lean method, pose number one. Check it out. 
pretty awesome, right? All I did was lean on a wall, just relax, chill, showing a relaxed vibe, very happy vibe, just not a care in the world. Just lean on the wall, great shots. Very easy, very easy. Should not be that hard. All I had to do is lay on the wall, get a nice shot anytime, anywhere. For our second pose, we're talking about the sit and chill. All you gotta do is really just sit, chill, be happy. It's a nice day. Saturday, you're off work, you're having fun, chill. Be happy. I usually do this shot on stairs. Why? Because the leading lines, the background, the architecture behind you looks pretty cool. Here's a few shots I took by using the sit and chill method on these stairs. Pretty awesome. Check it out. Coming up on the screen right now. Pretty awesome, right? The stairs. I told you those are those are a, a great feature. This pretty awesome. The architecture, the lines, looks awesome. I don't know why stair shots just looks great. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Looks awesome. All right, for our third pose, we're talking about the walking shots. So easy. I know these these poses are very easy and it's mind boggling why these shots are not done on Instagram. I don't know why I keep seeing shots on Instagram with people just in front of mirrors like this with a cell phone going like this. What is this? Why is the phone out, okay? I don't wanna see your bathroom. I wanna see what you have, what kind of hair conditioner you have. I wanna see all that. Show me you, okay? Show me the happy vibe of you. Don't show me your bathroom cabinet. I wanna see all that. These poses are very easy. Try them out. Leave a like if you did. Just, just tap it. Just, you're done. Easy. Now, for our third pose, we're talking about the walking pose. All you gotta do is sit the camera down, have your friend about three feet that way, stand at the end, probably buy a nice trail, a nice pattern, or my favorite shots are between buildings. Between these super tall buildings, skyscrapers, you're in the middle of the road. Be careful, wait for the traffic light and everything. Don't wanna get hit or run over. They will run you down super fast, okay? Be careful. But if you wait until the right moment, go in our skyscrapers and to get the walking shot, your friend across the street, getting an awesome shot of you walking towards them, walking towards the camera, great shot. I'm talking about perfect shot. Here's a few shots on the screen right now. Check them out, look at them, you're gonna love them. Check it out right now. Pretty great, right? The walking shots is always a good go-to shot. But now that is it. Those are three ways and three different tips to give you better shots and better pictures for your Instagram. That means more likes, more followers. Try them out right now. Let me know, leave a like, leave a comment. I'd be happy to hear your thoughts, your ideas for this video. Or if you have any other ideas, drop them below, let me know. Or if you wanna just boop, DM me right here. Just DM me on Instagram, let me know. Let me see your photos, I'd be happy to check them out. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to my videos for more photography tips and tutorials on the way. And have fun taking pictures. Bye.